Hey guys, so in this video, I want to show you how to resize your wall art prints in Canva. And for this tutorial, you do need to have Canva Pro in order to use the resize feature. And in case you don't, you can use the link in my description, which you 30 days for free. So you can do anything you want in those days and then just cancel it after. All right, so let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to obviously have a design. So I'm just going to quickly do this right now so we can have something to resize. And if you're someone that's doing this for wall art prints, I always like to start my size in a 18 by 24 inches, or you can just use the poster portrait, the 18 by 24 one right here. Now that we have the canvas, let me just quickly put some designs in there so you can see how it looks when I resize it. So just give me two seconds. All right, so let me just find some abstract shapes, put them in here. Okay, cool. So let's say that this is the design you want to do. Right now we're using the three by four ratio, which is the 18 by 24. If you're selling wall art or any type of digital product, you always want to resize it into variation so that people can always print it in different ways. And I'm also going to have two different designs. So I can show you how easy it is to batch all your resizing as long as you have all your designs in one page. So you can have multiple pages doing it all with just a couple clicks. So let's say you want to do a two by three ratio. You just come up to the top left. You see the button called resize. You click on this and you just adjust it to whatever size you want. So right here, I'm going to do 24 by 36. And all you do is click on resize or copy and resize. And what it means is if you just click on resize, it's going to change the way that your original file is, all right? And for the most part, you probably want to do copy and resize so that you can save this file and not interrupt it and create a additional new file, which will be the new dimensions, the 24 by 36. And then your original will stay in the original size. For this example, it will be 18 by 24. But instead of creating this, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. But you will most likely use the, the copy and resize. But let's do resize. And just like that, you're going to have it resize in a new format. See, this is a longer file and it does that for all your images. So you can now easily export this into the new sizing. So let's say if I want to change this again to maybe a square size, you would come back here, go to resize. And from here, let's do if we want to do 16 by 16. And also, if you see this, every time I put something new here, it shows you another tab. So this lets you to do more sizes, right? You can go as many sizes as you want. Keep it in inches so there's no problem there. All right. Oh, let me come back here. Keep it in inches so there's no problem over here. Let's say you want to do 14 by 14 as well. Or let's say you want to do 14 by 18, right, as an example. And you can do as many as you want and you will click on copy and resize and then you will duplicate a bunch of different file sizes for you. So it can instantly resize it off for you. So do keep in mind though, if we are doing a square format from a portrait mode, I'll show you how it'll look. As you can see, it just expands the outside. But from here, you still need to manually resize these however you want it. Yes, you can resize the canvas size, but depending on the art you're doing, you might have to adjust it. You might have to crop some areas here and there. But yeah, this is pretty much how you would resize your prints or any kind of designs on Canva. Also, something else I want to show you, if you are in the wall herd space and you want to showcase your designs after you've done resizing them, Something I see a lot of people make a mistake is the way they present the mockups. They use very generic ones that aren't the best aesthetically looking mockups. And a lot of people just go ahead and continue using the mockups from Canva, which are great. But I personally like to use mockups that are maybe more unique, that are more original. And a place I like to do them on is from Placeit. And let me show you how easy it is to do that. So you come up here, you go to your mockups and you go to prints go to posters and all of these mockups here, all you do is you just drag and drop your design. So I'm going to show you exactly how I would do it. And based from the design I just created earlier for this example, I'm just going to use a very simple one that let's say this mockup right here. Okay. So now that you just upload your design, upload from your device. All right. So it just takes a second to load. And from here, you just have to resize it just like that. Click on crop. And there you have it. It just goes right into the mockups and looks very realistic. And from here, you just click on download and there you go. So yeah, I definitely do recommend a system like this just so you can generate very unique mockups and look how easy it is. It just automatically puts on to everything else. So definitely recommend checking it out. I do have a 50% off discount in the link below if you want to try it out. And yeah, hopefully that was helpful in this video. And if you want to learn more about how to sell your designs, 
specifically on Etsy or any other e-commerce platform, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And then until then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.